you know what? I'm not going to wait 10 years to do a jury review on Iceland. It's only going to get better. Ooh, here I go. Hi here, Finns here, I'm back for another video and today I'm reacting to the Icelandic, not reacting, I'm doing another personal jury review uh, on the Icelandic entry for years in 2021, I'm getting my videos mixed up now, <laughs> and it's Daddy Gangomanga, as I like to call them, I don't know if they pronounce it like that, Daddy or Gangomanga, oh, some 10 years, so yes, Daddy is back to the competition this year, um, obviously it was a big hit last year, um, big contender as well, fan favourite, lots of people liked it, and I, including me actually. He's got his new song called Ten Years, which the, the meaning is about his, him and his wife being together for ten years, which is very sweet, very nice, and he's written a song about it, and this is what the song is about, so that's what it's called, Ten Years, Ten Years of Relationship Together, which is very nice. Um, you know, I mean, it was always hard to come back the following year and to write something even better than Think About Things, because cause with Think About Things, you know, that was the first time really most people saw them. Um, obviously they've been in the Icelandic National Association before, but obviously it's the first time most people um, saw them. So it was always hard to come up with a new song, but I'm happy to see them at Eurovision this year. I'm happy they were internally selected for Iceland again, because I knew they had it in them to write an even better song. And I have to say, about 10 years, hopefully it won't take me 10 years to really enjoy this song, but no, I, I, I do like it. I do like 10 years um, as a song. I think, yeah, with Daddy Ganga Manga, those type of, the song, the type of songs from Daddy Ganga Manga, I think you really need to see the visuals to like it. Because if you just listen to the audio, same about Think About Things when I first listened to it. When I listened to Think About Things on the audio, I, I feel, this is good, but it, it's, it's alright, but it's not amazing. And then you see the visuals and see what's going on. Then it elevates. Because for me, you know... I actually like their quirkiness, I like their weird things. I think that makes the performance unique. I actually think it elevates uh, the song. Um, and I think they've got, done the same thing for 10 years. This is, there is similarities between Think About Things and 10 Years, which is fine, you know. Eurovision didn't take place last year, so it's okay to have, in my opinion, a similar song from last year to this year. It doesn't really matter. You didn't heat last year so yeah 10 years I think it's, it is a good entry from Iceland I do I, I personally prefer think about things uh, I found that a bit more I don't know groovy a bit more catchy for me 10 years has taken me a little bit of a while to get into it however it is still a good entry from Iceland it's still has a lot of heart behind it as well it's all the quirky moves um, I've also now seen the music video since I first reacted to it, um, actually just now, and it, it's a very good music video. However, um, about them defeating a monster in Iceland, although I have to be honest, I don't know what's that got to do with 10 years relationship, what's that got to do, it, it, it's got no, you would never know about the relationship. Um, so yeah. 
that is my only issue about that, but that is just the music video and not what they do on the stage. I would say, when I saw them perform on stage, they didn't have a big stage, they didn't have a lot of space. This is just... Um, you know, but that might catch on, that might catch on. Um, I just want them to do more like, random things, funny things on stage, because I think that's what makes the performance elevate for me. I, could you, if I just close my eyes and see nothing, then I think it's just a good song. But when I see the visuals, I really warm to it. I, I do warm to it more when I open my eyes. I see colours in the black and white. I open, I open my eyes, I want to see colours. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Sorry, I got distracted by creation song. Sorry. Um, no. <laughs> Dora. No. Um, let's go back to Iceland, the cold Iceland. Um... Yeah, I see Iceland. No. This is a still a good song. I would say, will this swing the origin? I think think about things I felt had more potential to be a winner. I don't get winner vibes from 10 years. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe on the Eurovision stage, I might get winner vibes. Um, maybe if they do a bit more on the Eurovision stage, I'll get winner vibes. Um... But yeah, um, but I don't know, maybe because what I've seen so far hasn't given me Eurovision winner vibes yet, but who knows, maybe there is hopefully more to come from them. And I, I mean, I do like the kind of 80s throwback, but it, it's fun and quirky, so it makes, you, I, I, it makes me want to enjoy it more, and it is fun at the end of the day, it is, um, kind of a quirky entry, you know, um, and you know, they've actually been quite viral in the UK, and that's good, I mean, their song Think About Things, you know, was played on Strictly Come Dancing and Dancing on Ice, so they're quite well known, I mean, that song is very popular in the UK, a lot, it went, a lot of that's been even played on radio too so yeah um yeah so going into 2021 for the people that did remember think about things i i could see the uk getting behind this actually i would be surprised if the uk televote actually gave them 12 points um in the semi or in the grand final because we can vote for them because they're in the in semi-final too, so they could get the UK 12 points for the televote. Um, how will this do? Let's do a quick prediction. This is qualifying. I think we... I, I, yeah, yeah. I'll be very, 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 very shocked if this doesn't qualify for Iceland. Um, yeah. I, I, it's not... How well will they do? That's the thing. How well will this song do in the final? Oh, it's a tough one to predict. You just don't know how this one's going to go. And of course, the Lithuania, the Roop is competing as well. So they're kind of the two quirky acts. And now you've also got Germany, gender quirky, bit silly, a bit fun on stage. So its running order is going they're going to be very key for this. There's going to be, you know, a battle between all the quirky, zany acts on the stage. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the running order and how, like, Iceland's going to be staged. Like, how is this going to be executed? Um, what they're going to do? Are they going to copy and paste? Or hopefully they'll do something even more random on stage. Um, something very. You see, also what I like about it. You can't predict what they're going to do. You just don't know. I mean, by the end of the song, I didn't know they were going to throw confetti out. I mean, you just didn't know what was going to happen. And that's what I like about it. It's so unpredictable about them. Um, and they don't keep it simple. So, and the costume, like Power Rangers in their music video. I mean, I'm wearing kind of green now, so I'm kind of copying the look. I mean, I, I could have done a picture of my face, but I mean, I, I don't care that much. But, um, but no, no, um, 
I, I think this will do well. I, I think top ten. It could be in the top ten. Depends on how music experts reward this. Depends on running order, depends on staging, and it just depends on the night, I guess. Um, and we will see. So, but maybe top ten. No, I, possibly top ten. Who knows? I just, I, I just don't know if this is strong enough to be a winner. But that being said, you just don't know what they're going to do live on stage. My score out of ten, I'm going to give this a seven point. Five. And I was really thinking about what score I was going to give it, but in the end I do think there are, for me personally, are stronger songs this year, I'm afraid, that I wanted to give a higher score than Iceland. Not being said that, that I mean 7.5 is still still good score for me. I mean for me this is obviously going to qualify, I mean it should qualify and it should do well on the Saturday show. I just don't think this is going to... <laughs> strong enough to take the trophy for me personally but I could be wrong they could do something out of the box and something we didn't see I mean I mean Kate Middle, Kate Middle Heike from Australia people said that was gonna not qualify Australia people you know I think we were just hoping it was gonna qualify and then she came on the stick and then blew us away won her semi-final and then we were kind of then she became a contender to win, and she didn't. She came ninth in the end. So, but she, still, though, still, that could act could happen to Iceland if they do something unpredictable on stage. But you never know. But anyway, um, what do you think? How does it keep getting better? Well, you can comment down below in the comment section below. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will be back. For more content very soon to then it please i won't up i promise you it won't take me 10 years to upload another one of these jury reviews they're coming every minute now until may so comment down below in the comment section below like this video and subscribe to my channel and i'll be back for more content very soon goodbye people goodbye so how does it get better goodbye we've got a good thing going